G'day guys, my name is Mahulan. In today's video, we are going to go on an overnight flight journey. I'm going to travel from Darwin, Northern Territory, Australia to Adelaide, South Australia for a holiday trip. There will be more videos you can expect from South Australia in our channel in coming days. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. I am happy to take you all in my journey through this video. So fasten your seat belts and enjoy this journey with me guys. Now, we have arrived at Darwin Airport. You are currently looking at the drop-off area of Darwin Airport where the people are dropped to take their flights. This is the entrance for the Darwin Airport. It doesn't matter if you have an international flight or domestic flight. Always the departures from Darwin Airport goes through this entrance. Alright, now I am inside the airport. First of all, I need to check my flight status. Let me go to the display monitor and check the status. It shows my flight will be on time and hopefully we can leave Darwin at 2 a.m. You guys might have observed that the Darwin airport is so crowded today. It is because now it is Easter holidays and a lot of people are traveling to other states and other countries to enjoy their holidays. I have done my online check-in earlier today and now I am going to drop my luggage in bag dropping area. My flight tonight will be Jetstar. Let me check my bag's weight quickly. This is the bag dropping area for Jetstar. See how many people are already there. I'm just gonna drop my bag here and get the boarding pass. I've dropped my luggage, got my electronic boarding pass, now I'm going for security screening. Look at this queue guys. I need to stand in this queue to do my security screening. But this queue is so so long. This queue is very long 
and also moves very slowly as there is only one security screening machine in Darwin Airport. It seems like it is easier to walk to Adelaide directly from Darwin than waiting in this queue guys. Oops, just finished the security screening. Let's go to the top floor and go to our gate. As you can see, there are few shops and other gates for other flights on our way. This is the flight I'm gonna fly in tonight. This is from Jetstar Airways. Let me tell you a brief history about Jetstar Airways. Jetstar Airways is an Australian low-cost airline. It is wholly owned subsidiary of Qantas Airways. The fleet size of Jetstar is nearly 75 and they perform their services to 34 different destinations. The headquarters of Jetstar Airways is situated in a place called Collingwood in Melbourne, Australia. Jetstar was established in 2003 by Qantas and their services began in 2004. First they conducted domestic flight services and with the success of domestic airways, Jetstar started its service to New Zealand. Till then, Jetstar is flying to different international locations like Bali, Fiji, Thailand, South Korea, Japan, Vietnam and other few countries. I hope you guys would have liked that brief history of Jetstar. We are going to fly on one of those flights. As I am sitting on the exit window seat today, they have explained to us that we need to follow these instructions and get ourselves out in case of emergency. Fasten your seatbelt guys, it's time to fly. You can have an aerial view of David City in the night time. It is very beautiful guys, isn't it? Our flight departed at 2.15 and our flying time will be 4 hours. Hopefully, we will reach Adelaide before 6.30 a.m. I will cut you guys after we reach Adelaide.
use the red sand, I'll make an announcement. Before you head off, double check we have everything with you. You can go open your lockers, just in case your luggage is moved during the flight. Now the time is exactly 6.15 and we have landed in Adelaide, Australia. Good morning and welcome to Adelaide everyone. Let me collect my luggage and leave this airport. Alright guys, I am here outside the airport. I am here in Adelaide, South Australia for the first time. I have heard that Adelaide is one of the most livable cities in the world. Let's see how good is this city and also South Australia. My future videos will be from South Australia and there will be videos from Northern Territory too. If you want to watch all those videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all in another beautiful video. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.